We have a lot of great products in front of us here today with Schlage Door Hardware, and we're joined by Eric with the parent company, Allegiant, to help talk about it. Eric, thanks so much for being here. Thank you. Well, I'm going to allow you first to introduce yourself and introduce your, your role with the company and talk a little bit about Allegiant. Yes, yeah, so I'm Eric Strauss. I'm with Allegiant. That's the parent company out of Indianapolis. Indiana and Schleg is the hardware brand that you're going to know. We've been around for 100 years. Mm -hmm. So essentially, that's the brand that you're going to recognize, not so much a legion. That's more of the uh, umbrella. Well, I think everyone has different needs when they're looking for door hardware, exactly. whether it's the, co the cost conscious need that you may have. Yep. And with technology today, man, it really is an ever expanding line of products. Absolutely. And on our far right, that's what we would call our opening price point lock or builder's basic. And then we gravitate to J-Series Dexter. And, you know, I'd like to thank the Lezer organization because they have their, our whole portfolio on their shelves. So it's easy for anyone to come walking in and get their needs filled, depending on the opening or the application. Well, we sometimes talk about, and almost always talk about the relationship between Lezer Lumber and the companies that we work with. And we think that's such a great thing for the customers, the consumers out there and the contractors, where they really can get to know the people and know all the options that are available. Mm -hmm. I think that's key because it's a seamless uh, relationship that goes right from the contractor and, and or consumer trade right through Lezer. And that's just a, an extension of who we are as a manufacturer. Oh, that's awesome. So let's take a look at some of these. Here are your more basic cost conscious models. We'll start there. Yeah, exactly. And essentially when we call them the J series, they're our opening price point, mm -hmm. or we call it OPP as we're, you know, many people abbreviate, but opening price point is essentially something that will get you in the door for about a $10, $15 opening price point. So if you have a budget or it's just something you need to put a lock on, that's a mechanical key, that's your application right there. And you still have, a, it's not that there aren't a lot of varieties and colors and exactly. textures and whatever you may want. There's a lot of different Different appearances. So that's perfect because we can go anything from a deadbolt to what we call a key and lever or even a knob. But what's nice about it is we go across 12 different finishes mm -hmm. across our whole portfolio. So it's not like you're limited to what we call 605 being brass. Mm -hmm. It's whatever finish you're looking for. And those emerging trends are coming. So they're stocked here in what we call 619, which is a nickel finish and a 716, which is like a bronze finish. But what we're seeing today is like black 622. And that mm -hmm. seems to be something new and emerging into, I would say, doors, door caming and door hardware in general. I noticed you said to get you in the door. Pun intended? No, or... not really. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Let's work our way along here on our display. Exactly. So once you go from there, then we go to our F-Series locks, which you have right here. And, and the key thing there is when you start going the next level up, that's a lifetime warranty on the mechanical. Mm -hmm as well as the um, electronics and or basically the finish. Mm -hmm. So if the finish wears over time, you would just bring it back, we would give you a new one and just keep moving from so there. So that's the warranty that's guaranteed at the product. Absolutely, absolutely. Right. What's next? Well, so when you look at that, this is our new finish. It's a 530. I call it like a gunmetal, but it's called black stainless. Mm -hmm. So that's a new finish. You're seeing that as a new emerging trend coming in what I would call the appliances mm -hmm. and or in the bath hardware series. So that's something I wanted to showcase today, just so you could see it from there. But what's interesting now, we're like one of the only companies out there today where you can put a lever on one side yeah. and then you can actually go and put a knob on the other side. And what that does is independent uh, rotation from the lever chassis itself. Mm -hmm. But what's interesting is back from the time period, turn of the century, true glass yeah. knobs. It's not a resin. It's not a plastic. It's actually an application that is true glass. Well, I think we're seeing a lot today, too, where if you have this maybe on a front entrance, you want to match whether it's your kitchen hardware or something you have in the bathroom everyone wants the hardware throughout the entire house to match now to help it flow more so that might be where you get that black or that chrome that chrome finish that's really appealing exactly and the other thing too that's nice about this if you see it we, we've done glass with a what we call a rosette that's yeah. what a back plate is mm -hmm. but that could be on one side you can mix and match and do a nickel on the other side so you can mix and match what we call finishes mm -hmm. so it could be a split finish you just have to order it that way not typically on the shelf here, but that could be something from the factory. Well, whether you have multiple people living in the same house, a family, maybe some family and friends that come over to let the dog out or your Airbnb in your place out, maybe that's where you want to start to upgrade your technology more than just having a key laying around under a rock somewhere. Exactly. So when we look at our portfolio, we go from what we call mechanical on the right yeah. side that we just talked about. Now we go to what we call electronic, but then we have what we call connected and non-connected. This would be what I would call the non-connected. And what does that mean? It just means that you cannot 
uh, remotely unlock or lock it from your phone, but you can use this and it'll hold up to 30 codes. It's just basically a one touch, hit the schleg button, put your code that's in there and basically it'll let you in. Um, it does have a key on there. It's driven by a nine volt battery. Uh, it does have low battery life. So basically it indicates to you when the battery is running low, it'll give you that indicator to let you know, change the battery on that as well. But as you said, there's still a key there. So make sure you have that key with you just, just in, in case. case right? Yep. But the other thing too, is then we migrate from that nine connected to what we call connected. And what does that mean? Well, this is what we call a touchscreen lock and we call it Schleg Sense or Schleg and code. And what's the difference? One's Bluetooth Wi-Fi mm -hmm. and the other one's just standalone Wi-Fi. Mm -hmm. So essentially what I did is pulled up my Schleg home app and then I, un I opened it up and essentially you can see as it is here now, it's showing it in the unlock position. Mm -hmm. So just basically hit the, uh, the lock itself and you can hear it's a motorized mm -hmm. bolt. What's neat about this is if I wanted to let you in or a dog walker, I could send you what we call an e-key. Yeah. And that e-key is a one-time operation, lets you in the lock. I can then cancel that, or I could also put that on a daily uh, schedule. So mm -hmm. if you wanted to come in, you were watering my plants or walking my dog, and I wanted to let you in between eight and 10, I could put a schedule in there and you could get in there at any given wow. time. But I could also delete that code at any given time. Well, I know I like that feature alone for just the fact that I'm laying in bed at night and it's a little bit cold. You're under the covers. Man, did I lock the front door? And you just pull your phone over and you can do it that way too. Exactly. <laughs> What's also cool about it, we give a history. So the administrator being me on this lock, mm -hmm. it tells me every time, date, time, and stamp, mm -hmm. what time someone walked through the door. Mm -hmm. What's also cool about this, it's a feature that we set in our deadbolts. They're all tapered. And what does that really mean? And what does it do for you mm -hmm. as a homeowner, or even a builder? Sometimes door jams and doors don't always line up. Yep. That tapering will allow it to find or seat itself inside that strike plate. What about potential malfunctions? People may be concerned it's technology. What happens if it just randomly opens? Or would it be something that someone who's trying to trespass into your house could get yep. open? That's not something you have to really worry about. No, it's just like a banking credential, right? Yeah. It's encrypted. So essentially it's once my phone syncs with this or I send you a code, it's a one-time thing. And then this phone is basically set up with that lock. It's not like anybody can come in and hack it like you would think in a computer application. Yeah, and if you don't have your phone, there's still buttons you obviously press. Exactly, so there is one touch application which you can basically light up and you can lock and unlock from there. There is what we call a mechanical override key. And this will also hold 30 codes in it as well. We put enough codes in there because you're also seeing vacation homes VRBOs and applications like that. Not that you have to put 30 codes in there. Essentially, it comes from the factory with two codes. You can add or delete them at any given time. Eric, you unlocked the world of possibilities for us. Thanks so much. <laughs> Thanks, <laughs> appreciate it.